Darren Williams, also our point guard from the New Jersey Nets, uh, is planning to play in Turkey this fall if the NBA lockout has not been settled. Sources on Thursday today have confirmed that the same club that briefly had Allen Iverson on their team last year will now have Darren Williams. Uh, we welcome in NBA insider Mark Stein. Mark, what can you tell us about Darren Williams' apparent decision to play in Turkey in the fall? Well, the, the, the trick with this thing is uh, obviously a team has to be able to come up with enough money to convince a player of Darren Williams' stature to want to go to Turkey. But we saw last season that Besiktas, this club in Turkey, was very aggressive in getting Allen Iverson to come, and they've apparently assembled an offer lucrative enough to uh, convince Darren Williams to go over there. Uh, now, based on the letter of the law, he would need a letter of clearance from FIBA to play over and play anywhere else. And when players are under contract to teams in the NBA, that typically doesn't happen. But the NBA Players Union has always maintained that it would legally fight any attempt by the NBA or, or FIBA to block locked out players from going elsewhere. So there isn't going to be any kind of contractual impediment. Darren Williams is going to be able to play in Turkey if that's what he wants to do. The risk is really uh, anybody with guaranteed money on their contract, you're risking that if you go overseas. We've heard the same thing with Pau Gasol maybe going back to Spain. You put your guaranteed contract in the NBA at risk when you do that. So you're gonna, these guys are going to have to take insurance precautions to make sure that they uh, protect the money that they are technically risking back in the NBA. But uh, Darren Williams, this is uh, from everything I hear, he's very serious about going there. All right, Mark, the perception of European players playing overseas really not that big of a deal. Could this deal for Williams touch off high-profile American players going overseas to play? It's still too soon to say that we're going to see the floodgates open because the biggest impediment is money. There just aren't that many teams overseas that have the kind of financial resources to convince players from Darren Williams' zip code to go over there. Uh, you, we heard last week about the big offer from Real Madrid to Rudy Fernandez. But at this point, outside of China, there's really only a handful of teams around the world that, that can offer big money to get star, star names. Now, the fact that, that Darren Williams has made this decision so early and it's getting out, I'm sure a lot of guys are going to be calling their agents today and saying, what kind of what kind of offers are there out there for me? But I think it's still premature to say that we're going to see a mass exodus. So, Mark, if we see other players leave to go overseas, could that in some way help the NBA lockout to speed up and end quicker? I don't think there's any question because we didn't see this in, 90, in 98, in the lockout of 98. We didn't see a mess of guys go over there. And uh, certainly NBA teams, uh, you know, the Nets are not going to like the idea of Darren Williams going, even getting on a plane to Turkey, whether he dribbles a ball over there or not. So if NBA players can prove that they do have somewhere else to go and to make a living, that unquestionably puts pressure on the owners to maybe change their stance. But from the NBA side, there's always been skepticism that how many teams in Europe are really going to be able to put offers on the table that are good enough to tempt stars. But let's be honest, nobody woke up today thinking that uh, Darren Williams was going to even consider playing in Turkey. So if there are some more surprises like this in store, I think you're right. I think that could change, that could have an impact on labor talks. Well, this is just coming into Sports Center. Much more throughout the day on Sports Center. Darren Williams' plan to head to Turkey if the NBA lockout is not settled. Mark Stein, thank you so much for joining us here on Sports Center. You got it.